Uh, my name is Ari Coban. I work at BlackRock and our digital wealth uh, group. And um, today I have the privilege of introducing a firm called Virtualytics. Um, and Virtualytics does something that's pretty unique and I think pretty forward looking. I don't think there's a firm in this room that is not sort of have, doesn't have a feeling that they could be doing more with their data. They could be unlocking more insights. That they could be finding new and interesting correlations or new opportunities as a result of it. But there's a lot of it and it's hard to do, right? And what Michael and his team have done at Virtualytics is they've built out a capability that brings together a couple of innovative capabilities. Number one, it brings together machine learning, artificial intelligence, and then critically what it does is it allows you to explore that data in a virtual reality environment that is incredibly impressive, incredibly easy to work with for both data scientists and for uh, sort of laymen like myself. Um, and it really is an impressive experience, and frankly, there's only so much I can say to you about it, because I really would encourage all of you to go after this and put a, a headset on and see what they actually have to offer and experience what they can learn in this VR environment, because it's incredibly impressive. Michael Omori, founder and CEO. Thank you, Ari. Good morning, um, or good afternoon soon. Uh, so Virtualytics is an advanced data analytics platform that merges AI and VR. So we all know that AI is going to change the world. At Virtualytics, we think AI is going to change the world even faster and in an even more positive way if it becomes easier for humans to understand the output from AI. And we also think that more generally, if humans are able to understand the complex data that we're now gathering at, unprecedented, uh, at an unprecedented pace, that also will lead to much more positive outcomes for the world and for enterprises. That's where we come in. That's the problem we try to solve. How to interpret AI, how to interpret complex data in general. And we do it through a combination of AI and VR. The AI is there to quickly tell the user what are the key insights that are driving a particular problem that the user is interested in. The VR part is there to provide a unique way to visualize those insights. So we are a spin-off from Caltech based on 10 years of research there. The other co-founders besides myself are Chiro Donalek, who has over 100 papers published in machine learning, Professor Jorgoski, who runs the Big Data Center at Caltech, and Scott Davidoff, who runs the team at JPL NASA, which is in charge of data visualization for all of the space missions there. Uh, a year ago, we won a data science competition sponsored by the US Special Forces. We're a unique team made of top data scientists and designers. Uh, our customer traction, uh, I think, has been very interesting for a company that's only two years old. We're now working with over 15 Fortune 500 companies. And uh, I think the POCs with the mentor companies at the FinTech Lab have been, uh, I think, so far uh, very successful. The feedback we got was very encouraging. So as I said, the problem we solve is how do you interpret, how do you really understand complex data? And when I say complex data, I mean data where you might have tens or hundreds or thousands of metrics for each record. And it's very hard with current tools to find insights quickly, to explore the data, to visualize the data, and communicate insights to other people. And I would include in that complex data the output from an external AI model, which is usually very difficult to understand. So how do we solve it again? The first piece of the equation is the AI part. And by the way, all the pictures you see are uh, taken from our software. So this is the user interface for the AI part. You load up your data. The user asks, OK, what is the one thing you want to understand? Maybe it's uh, spreads over treasuries for uh, the bonds that you're looking at. And our algorithm will then sift through your data and find what are the key metrics that drive the target that you're interested in understanding. Our AI also tells you what's the best way to visualize those particular insights. And it learns from your data, and it learns from what you're asking uh, from the data. And the next, part of the, the next piece of the equation is 
How do you then visualize it? Because to really understand something, you have to see it. And the best way to see it, we have found, is by being immersed in the data through virtual reality. And this is the unique technology that's been developed over 10 years of research at Caltech, together with the AI part. And with our visualization in VR, we're able to see the data in many dimensions at the same time. And in our VR environment, where people are immersed in the data together at the same time, <coughs> interacting with the data together, that provides a much better way to collaborate on data. Now, I used to work on a trading floor uh, for 14 years. I was head of a trading desk. And I'm not suggesting that people put on VR glasses for eight hours a day. That's not going to work. But what I am saying is that you run our desktop application, you run the AI part, you tinker with the data. When you find something that's really interesting, you put on the glasses for 20 seconds, and that will give you a much better insight in what you're looking at. And then if you want other people to come in from your Singapore office and together interact with the data, then you put the glasses on. That's the way I'm envisaging how this works in a realistic manner and really provides added value to, uh, to our customers. So our vision for the future is that with this technology, with this blend of AI and visualizations from VR, data scientists will become more productive. And maybe even more importantly, we will empower non-data scientists to be able to consume complex data uh, at a level that they are not able to do right now with current tools. And I think part of that means also that people will be able to see inside the black box of AI. And people will buy into the recommendations of AI a lot more if they can actually understand what the AI is doing. Uh, with this, I would like to, uh, to thank the FinTech Lab for giving us the opportunity to be here. Um, we have learned a lot from our mentor companies. We have now set up four POCs with them, and the feedback has been very good on the, the couple of uh, POCs that we have completed. And we really, again, appreciate the, the opportunity. Finance is going to be a very important vertical for us. Thank you very much. Thank you.